Hello. Today we are going to look at creating a trim task to delete old data out of the database for a power monitoring expert system. Now it may be desirable just to create an archive and then remove the old data. However, you may not have the drive space to create the archive and remove the old data as well. So this procedure will show you how to trim the data without having to create an archive first. So first let's connect to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Use the proper credentials so you'll have full access to all databases. Go ahead and click on Connect. Once you're connected to SQL Server Management Studio, open the query that you downloaded from the Knowledge Base article. So File, Open, File. In this example, we're using PME 8.x data trim.sql. Once the query is open, you may want to do some editing on this before you continue. Date add year minus three get date. These lines tell the database how much data to keep when we're doing this trim. So if you want three years, three full years left in the live database, you will leave it set to three. If you want to narrow that down to two, set it to two. If you want more, such as six, change it to six or whatever number works for your system. In this example, we're actually going to change it to two. So we'll change each one of these date add lines to minus two. This way, we only have two years of data in the live database. So for instance, if we ran it on May 1st, 2017, it would only have data back to May 1st, 2015. April 30th, 2015, and anything before will be erased. So the query executed successfully. Now let's check and see where it is located. So go under Databases, Ion Data, Programmability, Stored Procedures, and look for the title Data Trim Schedule. So the stored procedure was created appropriately. Now we need to tell that stored procedure when to run so that we have a recurring task that deletes our old data. So go to SQL Server Agent, Jobs. You'll see several SQL jobs here. Right click on Jobs and select New Job. Give your job a name, something that's relevant to your system and what this is going to be, going to be used for. Ion Data Trim Schedule is what we'll call this one. If you want, just for memory, you might add a description. Also, it might be helpful to know how many years you're actually keeping in the live database due to this job. So for instance, we'll say in this one, keep two years in the live database and delete the rest or remove the rest. All right, then we're going to create a step. So this is what actually does the job. So click on new. Step name, once again, is arbitrary. For this example, we're going to call it trim ion data. Leave the type default, run as default. Database, you might change to ion data, but the stored procedure itself is going to take care of that. In the command, we're going to en enter the command to actually execute the stored procedure. So type execute, open bracket, DBO, close bracket dot open bracket data trim schedule close bracket so this will execute our newly created stored procedure let's go ahead and click OK now we need to set up a schedule for this job let's go to schedules click on new name once again is arbitrary so we're going to call it our trim schedule leave it as recurring leave it enabled now frequency is something you want to consider so how do I want my live data to be left in the database do I want to run this daily weekly monthly and just have a rolling two years in the live database for this example or do I want a full two years so for instance I may want all the way 
back to January 1st, 2015 versus going back to May 1st of 2015 if I ran this on May of 2017. So this is where the decisions have to be made. If you're okay with just a rolling time, set it to monthly and then set it to which day you would like it to occur, occur on. If you want a full two years or three years worth of data, then you will want to set choose the, the the option. And the first Monday, first Tuesday, whichever time you want to run it. Of every 12 months. That way it only occurs yearly. Now the trick to this also is to set a start date. So if you want it to occur on January 1st so that you make sure you have a full two years, 2015, 2016, 20, and then up to 2017, you'll set it to January 1st. That way that's where the 12 month counter starts. So on January 1st, 2018, we will only have two years worth of data in this example. So we'll have 2016 and 2017, and then 2018 we'll be collecting. So once finished with that, go ahead and click OK. Scroll down, note your job has been created. So Ion Data Trim Schedule. Now if you want to run this immediately, you can right click and do Start Job at Step. We only have one step, so it's going to run that stored procedure for us. And just remember though, when you run this right now, it's set up to go back two years from this date. So whenever you run it, if it's May, June, the way it's set up presently, it's going to go back to June two years prior or whenever you run it. If you decide you no longer need the trim schedule and it's deleting data that you actually need to hold on to, you can come in here and you can right click and go to disable. Success and if you ever decide you need it again, you can right click and go to enable.